And the trick to being the best at your job and to really thriving at your job is to really focus on what you are naturally good at. And it sounds like a really obvious thing, but it's not obvious and it's not easy to do. But I can tell you, the most successful people in any field are the ones who have understood their natural strengths and then contrived the world to put themselves in a position to be doing exactly that. Now, why is this so hard to do? The reason this is so hard to do is because when we are working in our areas of our greatest strengths, the work feels easy. It's the stuff you just do, and it comes easy, and it feels easy. And things that feel easy don't feel very impressive to us. And then you look at someone else and say, wow, look at him. That's amazing. You see somebody doing something that you find difficult, and that's what you find impressive. What we all have to learn to do is to turn that around and realize that people are looking at us. And when we are working in those areas that come so naturally to us, people are look at us, looking at us and saying, wow, you're amazing. And once you realize that everyone else is admiring your natural strengths, you can start to admire them too. But not only admire them, you can use them. You can really step on the gas. You can build upon your natural strengths. And I tell you, when I started doing this in my own career is when my career took off in an enormous way. I have a degree in electronic engineering and computer science, but I never enjoyed technology. I moved into marketing roles and then I moved into, into leadership roles. And the fact that I hated technology and I wasn't just drawn to it and didn't feel gifted at technology, I thought was a real problem for me. I mean, I was a technology business leader. Surely somebody's gonna find out she's not very good at technology and she shouldn't be here. And another strength I do not possess is I'm not a detailed analytical person. I probably spent at least 15 years of my career, if not a little more, panicked over the fact that I wasn't good at technology and I wasn't analytical because to be a CEO of a technology company, you had to do both of those things. So what did I do? I practiced. Now, how ridiculous is that? I used to practice being analytical. I used to read business plans and financial statements and say, I can get better at this. And it was a complete and utter waste of time. And finally, when people started mirroring back to me my strengths, I had real gifts in building and developing teams that could execute. And when I started focusing on that, I realized I just need a financial guy and I need a technology visionary on my team and then I'm going to do my thing. And two things happened at that point in my career. One was that I got so much better at my job, I was so much more decisively using my strengths that I went faster. But the other thing that happened is my family started saying to me, Patty, is it you know, it seems kind of strange. Are, are we just imagining this? Or do you actually like your job now? And it was, it was transforming. When you stop trying to fix the things you're not good at, and you focus on the things you are good at, you get a tremendous amount of energy for your work.